Hey guys, it's Billy out here in front of the New York Public Library, We're about to play a game with a very special guest today, the one and only Hank Azaria. How are you, Hank? Very good, thank you. Now, Hank, as many of you probably know, stars as Gargamel in the Smurfs movies and is also maybe best known for doing so many of the voices on the classic TV, the TV show The Simpsons year in, year out, year in, year out. How many voices do you do on The Simpsons? I've lost count, like over 50. Over 50? I heard it was like 120. That's what it says on Wikipedia. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What was that? Nothing. What'd you just say? How y'all doing? Hi. What were you just saying? Hello. Hi, what's your name? Yaya. Yaya, really? Hey. Hey, what were you just saying? I heard you screaming something. Nothing, he said that. Oh, okay, bye Yaya. She was so great. Let's get your Yaya's out. Yeah, I, I bet she would. Yeah, I know. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, anyway, you just got back from shooting Smurfs too. Yes. And you play Gargamel, that's why you're bald right now. You're right on all counts, correct. Okay, great, and is there anything you can tell us about Smurfs too? I'm dying to know the plot! Well, they run around and I chase them. That's great. That's great. It worked the first time. Yeah, if it ain't broke, you know what I mean? Exactly. That first year when the first Smurfs came out at the Oscars, for me it was Smurfs of the Hurt Locker. <laughs> yeah. Imagine my shock that I wasn't uh, nominated. Yeah, it was a snub! Okay, here's the game, Hank. So Hank, as I've said, is known for doing so many of the voices on The Simpsons. What voices do you do? You do Apu. Correct, Apu, yes. Yes, what else? Motor bartender. Yes. Yes, and uh, police chief Wiggum. Let's not forget him. Yeah. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Professor Frank, my, my... Okay, it's enough. I get it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a game called Charlize, Tyrese, or Denise. I'm going to list a fact, and you have to tell me whether that fact refers to Charlize Theron, the singer Tyrese, or Denise Richards. Do you understand? I, I, yeah. Just do the best you can. I'll try. But here's the thing. You have to answer each time using a different Simpsons voice. <laughs> Okay. You understand, Hank, is the area. That'll be the easy part. All okay, right. great. All right, here we go. If you get seven right in 45 seconds, you win a big prize. Yes. Ready, Hank? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're a voiceover actor. This is the hardest you've had to work in like 12 years. It's true. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Put 45 seconds on the clock, please. Charlize, Tyrese, or Denise. And away we go. Last name is actually Gibson. Gee, uh... Take a guess! I'm going to say Tyrese. Yes, correct, correct. Got a break by appearing in an ad for Coke. Uh, say it again? I uh, got a break by appearing in an ad for Coke. Uh, 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 let's go with uh, uh, Denise on that one. Uh, no, Tyrese, Tyrese married Charlie Sheen. Oh, that was, a different one. That was definitely uh, Denise. Yes, correct, correct. Adopted a black baby. Oh, it has to be... I'm going to say uh, uh, Denise. No, Charlize. Charlize got the lead in a movie after Tupac was shot and had to back out. That one's uh, Tyrese. Yes, correct, correct. Won the Academy Award for Monster. Ah, time. Just say one more. Ah, uh, that was Charlize. Yes, correct, correct, Hank Azaria. Did he get it? No, Hank Azaria, you lost. I'm, I'm really I'm surprisingly bitter. I'm sorry. That hurts more than I thought it would. It's all right. Well, let's see what he would have won anyway. Oh, Hank Azaria, it's an Oprah bib. I feel better. I feel yeah. a lot better. Well, no, let's put it on. No, I've lost. You let's just put it on and right. see what it would look like. There we go. There we go. Oh, it looks great. Yeah, it'll catch my food nicely. There you go. Look at a show. Oprah would love to catch food. That's what I'm saying. Oh, there you go. Have you ever met Oprah? I have. Did, you, did the Simpsons do the Oprah Winfrey show? No, I did it uh, connected to Tuesdays with Maury. Oh, right. That was so sad. It was pretty sad. Oh, it was that depressing. I know. Sorry to bring you down. Did you win the Emmy for that? I did. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thanks for my... Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, Hank, thanks so much for playing. I'm sorry you lost, but I might let you keep the Oprah bib anyway. I'm going to walk home like this. Okay. Bye, Hank. Goodbye. Thanks. Goodbye. Let's see Hank walk off with his Oprah bib. See ya. Bye, Hank. Bye. Enjoy. We'll be right back. I couldn't tell one of those voices from the other, if you ask me. I don't know what the hell he was doing. Hey guys, it's Billy Eichner, and this is Funny or Die's Billy on the Street, a music and pop culture game show. Now, before we get to this week's three-round game, let's hit the streets and play a game I like to call For a Dollar. And remember to follow me on Twitter at Billy Eichner and use hashtag Billy on the Street to let me know what you think about this week's contestants. Here we go. Miss, Miss For a Dollar, what's the best concert you ever saw? 
First of all, let me correct you. Okay. A concert, what is the best concert you ever heard? No, Saw, you look at a concert, too. Well, I prefer to refer to it as a... No, you're wrong, and I think you're realizing that now. Are you trying to antagonize me or something? No, you just, you're, you corrected me. I said, if I may. All right, have a good day. This was great. Okay. I think we came to a real understanding. Okay, bye. Miss, for a dollar, would you rather hurt Maggie Smith or yourself? Ah, I would say Maggie Smith. That's right, there you go. She's gonna kick the sh out of Maggie Smith. Sir, for a dollar, tell me one celebrity you don't want to see naked. God, that's hard to think of. Yeah. Yeah, because there's so many that I do. Okay. Yeah. I'm really not helping you guys. Right. I'm sorry, it's not. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> ow! 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 Miss, here we go for a dollar. Do me, baby. Do the hump de hump. Watch me do the hump de hump. Sing. Sing. Do me, baby. Do the hump de hump. I can speak. Hump de hump. Hump de hump. Hump de hump. Yes. Do me, baby. Do the hump de hump. Hump de hump. Watch me. Watch me do the hump de hump. Hump de hump. Yes. Do me, baby. Do the hump de hump. Watch me do the. Watch me do the. Hump. Hump de hump. Yes. Here you go. Then. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Bye. Hey guys, it's Billy standing out here in front of Pinkberry, where most women spend more money on toppings every year than people who live in this country under the poverty line spend on clothing. What is your name, sir? Andy. Andy, what are you doing in New York today? Uh, I, I'm from here. Oh, you're from here. What do you do for work? Right now, I'm starting a superhero-themed karaoke bar in New Haven. It's literally the lamest thing I've ever heard. Okay, great, here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna play a game called Gay or Not a Gay. Some actors are fake gay, some actors are for real gay. Hello. I don't know he I don't know what that person was. Anyway, some actors are for real gay, some actors are fake gay. I'm going to read you a list of actors and you have to tell me whether the actor is gay in real life or just pretending to be gay on TV or in the movies. If you think they're gay in real life, you say gay. Yes, if you think they're pretending to be gay, you say not a gay. Gay or not a gay. You get it, Andy? I got it. Okay, here we go. If you get 5 right in 30 seconds, you win a big prize. You ready for gay or not a gay? I am. Okay, put 30 seconds on the clock, please. Gay or not a gay? Here we go, and away we go. Sean Hayes and Will and Grace. Not a gay. No gay. Zachary Quinto in American Horror Story. Gay. Yes, correct. Eric Stone Street in Modern Family. Gay. No, not a gay. Jesse Tyler Ferguson in Modern Family. Gay. Yes, correct. Chris Culver in Glee. Gay. Yes, correct. Sean Penn in Milk. Not a gay. Correct. Rupert Everett in My Best Friend's Wedding. Gay. Yes, correct. And yes, correct. You win, Andy. You win gay or not a gay. Yay! Yes, that's right. And let's see Andy's prize. Oh, it's crutches! <laughs> now and I can walk home. Yes, exactly. There you go. Let's see. Let's see how those work. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. All right, walk off, Andy. Oh, there he goes. You would never know that man owns a superhero-themed karaoke bar. Bye, Andy. That's gay or not a gay. We'll be right back. Ladies, ladies, want to get quizzed in the face? You can win money right now. What's your name? Patricia. Patricia, what's your name? Patricia. What? Let's go. Let's get out of here. Hello there, people. It's Billy. I am in Washington Square Park and ready to play one of my all-time favorite games on Billy on the Street, Amateur Speed Sketching. We have a great contestant here. What's your name, miss? I'm Amberly Williams. Amberly Williams. That's great. You know Vanessa Williams? No. Um, sad. You, know, you know Vanessa Williams, though. Yes, yes. I know that. Yeah. Remember Ugly Betty and... Yes. And when she showed her vagina in Penthouse all those years ago? Yeah, no, I wasn't around. Okay, well, look it up. Yeah, look it up online. God knows I do. Okay, here we go. Here's how it's going to work, Amber Lee. I'm going to give you the name of a celebrity. You are going to have 60 seconds to draw that celebrity to the best of your ability without using words, just their likeness. Then I am going to hit the streets with you. And if anyone I approach can guess the identity of that celebrity without any other clues but what you have drawn, you win 50 bucks and they win 25. Do you understand, Amber Lee? Yes. I like your leather jacket. Thank you. It's very tough. Thank you. Yeah. How many times do you think Taylor Swift has seen Grease? 900? No. Okay, great. All right, what are you doing in New York? I'm here taking class. Oh, what classes do you take? Photography. Photography? Oh, I like that. Yeah, what, what pictures? Who do, what do you take pictures of? Um, street fashion. Street fashion? Oh, I thought you were going to say Connie Britton. <laughs> no. Okay, you watching Nashville? No. Oh, God, it's a really good show. 
You think so? Yeah, you don't like little Hayden Panettiere? No. Okay, all right, all right. Put 60 seconds on the clock, please. You ready, Amber Lee? Yeah. I'm You're going to draw like nobody's business. Okay, 60 seconds on the clock. Excuse me? No, it's know what you were doing with your finger there. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, that was telling me you're ready. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, whenever anyone goes, to, you know, try to give me oral sex, my sign to them that I'm ready, I go. Oh. Oh. That didn't mean that. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Amber Lee? Billy. Huh? Billy. Yes, Billy. Billy. That was my sign to you to do you know what. I do it. You have to comply. Okay, 60 seconds on the clock. Are you ready, Amberly? Ready. Here we go. 60 seconds. And away we go. Your celebrity is 50 Cent. Draw! Go. Go. Pick a marker. Let's go. You only have 60 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. What? Can I draw 50? No, you can't draw 50. That's a word. Chain. Let's go. Yeah, you can draw a chain. Oh, God. Uh, You're a photographer, draw something, Jesus! Oh. Here we go, all right, she's finally drawn something. Looks like she's drawing a chain or a link of sausages, I'm not sure. I said 50 cent, not Oprah's house on Christmas, Amber Lee. <laughs> Let's go. What is that? Chain. You might want to draw a face as you only have 30 seconds. Draw a face. Okay, yes, perfect. Perfect, okay. All right, oh my God, 50 Cent looks a little like Pac-Man. What'd you say? He's gonna be mad. Oh yeah, 50 Cent is gonna be really mad at you. He just sits around counting his vitamin water money and watching Billy on the street. Let's go, what else? Oh God, it looks like an Asian woman without a wig. Come on, Amber Lee. Oh God. Okay, still looks a lot like Pac-Man. Oh, is that a yarmulke? Come on, he's not like Jewish. A it's a do-rag. Time, time, Amber Lee. Put the marker down. God damn you. Okay, Amber Lee, we're gonna hit the street now. If anyone guesses that this is 50 cent, it looks like a sperm wearing a necklace. You will win 50 bucks and that one 25. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go, Amber Lee. Let's do it. Watch out for this old person here. Watch out for this old person here. Hello, old person. Okay, 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 okay. Sir, 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 for $25, can you guess who this celebrity is? Amberly, get over here. Run, Amberly, run. I don't know who it is. She doesn't know, he doesn't know. Miss, miss for 25, okay. Okay, she doesn't know, okay. Here we go, Amberly. Miss, miss for $25, can you guess who this celebrity is? <laughs> Take a look, try to guess. <laughs> Snooky. No, it's not Snooky, it's 50 Cent. Let's go, Amberly. Amberly, run, Amberly, run, run like the rainstorm. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, sir, 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 for $25, can you guess who this, which, which celebrity this is? She drew it. Take a good look. I know it's hard. Can you guess? No clues. Not sure. Take a guess. Look. Uh, I'm going to have to go with uh, Snoop Dogg, I guess. Oh, no, no. 50 cent close, though. Goodbye, white person. Let's go, Amberly. Oh, God. I'm getting all cut up. Amberly, can you please step it up? Can you please run, Amberly? Jesus. Really, come on. I'm telling you to come on here. Careful, there's a puddle. Oh, classic leap. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, miss, miss, miss. Oh, sir, sir, for $25, for $25, take a look at this and see if you can guess which celebrity this is that she drew. Study it. Please. Please. Oh, no, 50 cent close, though. Let's go. Amberly. Amber. Oh, sir, sir, for $25, can you? Oh, miss, 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 for $25, can you guess? Which celebrity this is? Take a look, she drew it. <laughs> Study it. 50 Cent. Yes, it is! Oh my God, you win! Oh my God, you win! It's 50 Cent! Oh my God, black people rejoice! What'd you say? She's, you're the best. Yes, congratulations, what's your name? Adrian. Adrian, wow, congratulations. That is amazing. Hold on a second. Let me give you your money. That's $25 for you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, and Amber Lee, this is a miracle. That's $50 for you. Uh, yay! Right. Thank you. Right, what are you gonna spend it on? Um, probably lunch. No, I'm <laughs> okay, fine. You better go check out Connie Britton, I'm telling you. I will. You better check out little Hayden Panettiere. I will. Okay, are you watching Nashville? Yes, tonight, yes. Yes, tonight, yes, tonight, tonight. You love Hayden Panettiere, don't you? Sir. Yeah. Okay, all right, well, thanks for playing. We'll be right back. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. 
I gotta go. Hey guys, it's Billy here in Washington Square Park in New York where a man once tried to sell me pot then asked me if I was gay and told me I was going to hell. Now it's time to play my new favorite game, ABC Family Show or Feminine Product. What's your name, sir? Uh, Colin Johnson. Colin Johnson? Oh, Colin's a great name like Colin Hanks! How are you today? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm very good. And, and what are you doing in New York? Uh, I'm studying at NYU. Oh, wow. That's great. Good for you. That's great, great. That's great. You know, it's important to have an education. Yeah, I would say it is. Okay, and what are you trying to major in? Um, biology of some kind. Biology, wow. What are you going to do with that degree? Do you go to medical school or? No, just research. Okay. Yeah. It's boring. I guess. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I'm right. You know, Mayim Bialik, who's on the Big Bang Theory, she used to be Blossom. She went to Harvard and studied neuroscience. Oh, well, I actually, I kind of want to study neuroscience, so that's actually really interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. You should talk to Mayim Bialik. If I can. Okay, probably can. And by the way, I think I speak for all of America now when I say, oh, okay, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to give you a title. You have to tell me if it's the title of a show on ABC Family or a feminine product that you buy in a drugstore. Do you understand? Yes. If it's a show on ABC Family, you say ABC Family. It's a, if it's a, if it, if it, if it, if it's a feminine product, you say feminine product. I'll say it again. If it's a show on ABC Family, you say ABC Family. If it's a feminine product, you say feminine product. You understand, Colin? I do. Okay, if you get 10 right in 30 seconds, you win a big prize. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. You study biology. You should know about ABC Family. Yes. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds on the clock, please. And away we go. Bunheads. Feminine product. No, ABC Family. Nourishing curls. Feminine product. Yes, correct. Jane by design. Uh, ABC Family. Yes, correct. Switched at birth. ABC Family. Yes, correct. Full repair. Feminine product. Yes, correct. Uh, mega plush. Feminine product. Uh, yes, correct. St. Ives apricot scrub. Feminine product. Yes, correct. Uh, baby daddy. Uh, ABC Family. Yes, correct. Uh, smooth finish. Uh, feminine product. Yes, correct. Uh, positively radiant. ABC Family? No, no time. Did he get it? Oh, no, you lost Colin. I'm sorry. Oh, God, you know what happens when you lose ABC Family Show or Feminine Product? No. You become Baby Chicken. Oh, I'm so sorry, Colin. Oh, Baby Chicken came to town. Well, thanks for playing, Colin. We'll be right back. Bye, Baby Chicken. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's Billy. I've got cash in hand, and I'm ready to give it away if I can find anyone who knows a damn thing. Let's go! Sir, for a dollar, do you think Adele has had chicken pox? Hell yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right. Let's go. Miss, for a dollar, name three Star Wars characters. Go. No idea. Sorry. About Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Sir, for a dollar, who's the most famous ugly person? Think about it. A famous ugly person? Yes. For a dollar, who's the most famous ugly person? I don't know. Tom Arnold, I guess? Tom Arnold, yes! I'll allow it! Take it! Let's go! Yeah. Miss, did you know the idea of marriage still scares Maria Menounos? No. Oh, my God. Miss, for a dollar, what's the first word that comes to mind when I say Lady Gaga? Dresses. Yes, there, take it! Thank you. Dresses! Miss Mary Poppins. Oh, oh God, Mary Poppins. Miss, are you ready for a three-peat? Are you ready for a three-peat? Sir, for a dollar, name three Michael Jackson songs. Go. <laughs> three Michael Jackson songs. Just enough to touch of me. Huh? Come on. It's just enough to touch of me. Okay. Beat it. Yes, that's two. Okay. Uh, one more. Okay, one more. Uh, uh, Michael Jackson. I, I'm coming, man. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Beat it. No, you already said that. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt, but I just realized it's the 14th anniversary of the hit movie Shakespeare in Love. Okay, let's go. Miss, remember Shakespeare in Love? Oh, my gosh. Remember Shakespeare in Love? No. You don't? Oh, sir, for a dollar, do you like Gwyneth Paltrow? Not as much as I used to. Oh, God. Sir, remember Shakespeare in Love? Indeed, I do. Oh, it was great. It was a superb film. Yes, here's a dollar. Why, thank you. Yes, thank you. Let's go. Sir, do you think Gwyneth Paltrow will ever be happy? No, she's too thin. Okay, there you go. Take it. Let's go. Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey Rush! Jeffrey Rush! Billy on the street. This game is called Kathy Bates or Gargamel. I'm going to give you a fact, and you have to tell me if that fact refers to Kathy Bates, the award-winning actress, or Gargamel, the evil villain who you play in the Smurfs. You understand? This is uh, my favorite moment of my life, yes. This is it. Kathy Bates or Gargamel is an American actress and film director. That'd be Kathy Bates. Correct. His thing is that he wants to make a potion. 
That's Gargamel. Yes, correct. Full name is Kathleen Doyle Bates. Kathy Bates. Full name is Gargamel. Gargamel. Correct. Start as Harry in the TV series Harry's Law. Kathy Bates. Correct. Correct. Play Jay Leno's manager, Helen Kushnick, in the HBO movie The Late Shift. Kathy Bates. Correct. His catchphrase is, I hate those Smurfs. That's Gargamel. Yes, correct. But his only friend is a cat. Gargamel. I would have accepted either answer for that. Yes, you win, Hangazari. You win. Kathy Bates or Gargamel. Let's see his prize. Oh, it's a big picture of Anne Hathaway and James Franco hosting the Oscars. Oh, that's fantastic. What a moment of triumph this was. Right, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Okay, maybe you'll, you'll give it to Yaya. Remember Yaya? I, I miss Yaya. Yeah, 10 to 1, Yaya's no longer with us. <laughs> you think she's already passed on? It's possible. Billy on the street.